Hello to all of you all across the world and welcome back to another video right here on my YouTube channel. I hope all of you are looking after yourselves and looking out for each other. Welcome back. I'm now back here in New Zealand after a lot of traveling and going through to Kazakhstan, I'm now back home. At the moment, I'm putting pieces together and I can't wait for all of you to see this beautiful story of my journey through Kazakhstan. It was a very difficult time. There was times where it was up and downs and there were moments where I did find it very hard because traveling through such a place I've never been to before and me connecting with my family links and putting the pieces together, there was a lot of disappointment along the way. But I want to say thank you all so much for really following this journey with me and it is not finished yet. I'm putting a really great piece together of the entire story from the beginning up until where I am now and because we filmed so much footage I really want to make sure it is done right and done perfect. I know that with my family history it does date back to different areas of Ukraine, Russia and Kazakhstan. With my biological grandmother that was really a journey in itself. I got to Kazakhstan and I was quite exhausted because I had been filming in, in Italy just the, a few days before and filming in Milan and then heading over to Amati to then going to a city called Shumkent which is on the south of Kazakhstan. I got there and a good friend of mine Vera met me and my partner she came along with me to help film and put these pieces together for the journey. Now I won't give away too much because I know I want to make sure the story is told right so I'll, I'll share some little pieces here just along of what happened during those days. The very next day, a day after we arrived, Vera had arrived from Moscow, Russia and she came along for the entire journey which was just incredible. We got to a little village which was about two hours sort of east of where we were staying and I remember just looking out the window and just getting nervous and the anxious, anxiousness, everything built up quite quickly. I know with my own journey and me sharing journeys with other adoptees, when it comes to your own journey, the nerves really kick in when it comes to a thing like this. I know for myself, I am so passionate about helping other adoptees connect with their birth families, sitting down with other adoptees. That's why we have this beautiful community and this is why I share this all on my YouTube channel with my life here. And over the years, things have changed over time. I remember meeting my birth parents for the first time, of course, and I remember just putting up different videos up on my YouTube channel and sharing them over the timeline. With this journey, I've been sharing the build-up and a lot of process and I know that with myself you know we have high expectations I had neutral expectations with what to expect in Kazakhstan though for myself I didn't actually meet my grandmother I definitely found more answers I found more information and I'm going to be sharing that in the story and with what is next we're still filming and putting this documentary together because I'm not giving up I'm not giving up hope I'm going to make sure I can get every bit of information that I can just to learn more about my grandmother. With my birth father's side, I already know about my birth father's parents, but with my birth mother, her parents, with her being in an orphanage all throughout her childhood, I, it just made me really curious to know about my family history and my family links. And with having an uncle in Ukraine as well and him connecting me with more information about my biological grandmother and not so much about my, my grandfather, which is still another journey in itself, there is so much of it to go and so much more that I want to connect. I know that coming from New Zealand and going all the way around the world and literally going to a village and walking down the village and knocking on doors just to ask for answers, you know, it is a big task in itself. It's a big, I'm a, I feel like I have achieved a lot. I feel like I've put pieces together that I didn't know before and I found out more information once I got there and that is all part of the goal. No matter what, if you're meeting somebody, if there are dead ends, but finding more information was definitely a sigh of relief for me and I'm so happy that I've got to this point. I've come back home but I'm not stopping the journey and there is so much more to go and so many pieces that you all have been following and I can't thank all of you enough for that and just the support. Thank you Vera, thank you Alina you know who helped us there on the ground. They both of them really helped with guiding me to this village and getting me to the spot that I wanted to go to after all this planning and researching and putting the pieces together like that for any adoptee. There's a lot of adoptees all across the world that some want to connect with birth family, some that don't want to connect with birth family, but it's all about connecting and learning about where you come from. I always find that so important. And for myself, I know that I can honestly tell you it has been a very difficult few weeks there. There's been great times. I'm very grateful and very fortunate that I was able to go to Kazakhstan and that part of it, I'm very grateful for. I'm very thankful for every bit of the way with that. When you get to a village though and you you know you prepared yourself there was a lot of disappointment 
and a lot of dead ends and a lot of moments where I just thought, right, this is really too difficult for me. I don't know what to do. I'm so far away from home. I can't just simply go and see my family and go and get some advice from them. I am so far away from home. 10,000 plus kilometers, I would say, <laughs> quite far. So for myself, you know, you were, you have friends. I had my partner there, she was supportive and that I can't thank them enough so much for being by my side this whole entire way. Though a bit of disappointment, of course, I did find more information. And I know many of you have been asking, you know, when is the full story coming out? What are you putting together? And I'm putting together a piece together because I want it to be told right. And for any adoptee who may be going through any experience, I want them to understand that this is hopefully helping them guide along any journey that they may want to go on. Start of a reunion, a reunion or a later on through any reunion, I know that all of this, all of these experiences play a big part of all who we are in the adoption community. I can really say amen to that because it really means a lot. I work hard on telling these stories for an adoption story series that I'm doing on my YouTube channel and I think it is helping so many people and I love hearing all the different stories all across the world. And I'm working on more development here in New Zealand and next year I will be heading back to America to attend an adoption conference that is being held over there and just all of this research and helping more people is just what I'm all about. And I wanna continue doing that because even though there may be disappointments in my journey, I know that, that I'm gonna keep on going because I'm always gonna keep on going and nothing in the way is going to stop me with that. I, I absolutely know that. I have friends in the community and I have a lot of friends in the community that I have so much respect for. And some of them, you know, we've lost contact over time and some of them I'm just, I'm absolutely, you know, almost heartbroken that I've lost contact with a lot of my friends in the community as well. People, lives change, things go on and things change over time. But for myself, I have due and I have all big respect for anybody who is part of the adoption field or anybody that is wanting to connect with birth family. If you don't want to connect with birth family too, I fully respect your decisions always and I always will within this entire thing. This entire platform, this entire community, that's what I mean, this entire, just everything that I'm sharing. I like to share my sort of emotions in my vlogs right here on my YouTube channel just as a timeline of my life because I know that connecting the pieces and going forward with anything that I want to connect with down the line means a lot to me. I want to say thank you. I feel like I'm rambling on as as per usual, but I want to say thank you all so much and I'll keep you all updated. I've got three more stories of an adoption story coming up very soon, as well as of obviously putting together this trip through Kazakhstan. I'm putting, to, I'm putting it together as a documentary piece, so I want to make sure you can all see that very soon and I'll keep you all updated with the progress that I'm making with that. I'm putting it together, I'm editing it, I'm putting the story together, writing it, making, every, making sure everything is told right, as I've probably said <laughs> a thousand times. But thank you all so much. Please look after yourselves and thank you for your patience. Thank you for following along. If you don't follow me on social media, please go ahead and take a look because I've been sharing a lot of pieces there as I always do through my Instagram and through my Facebook page and even sometimes through Twitter. You know, I, I, I'm on Twitter sometimes. Thank you all so much. Look after yourselves. And until next time, das Sadanya, is Novozelandi, is Pasiba Bushoya. Paka, spasiba.